Animals and plants live in particular places because they're designed to survive in particular conditions. If we look at leaf litter, I'll just disturb it a little bit. I find there are lots of small creatures living there. And the ones we're interested in are these wood lice. Now what conditions do these wood lice prefer to live in? It's quite hard to study them in their natural conditions in the leaf litter, so instead in the lab we use a choice chamber. A choice chamber has different compartments and we can offer the wood lice different conditions like so. We can make it dry by adding some silica gel. That removes any water from the air near it. And we can make it moist by soaking some cotton wool in ordinary water. Now, so the wood lice can move freely across the different areas of the choice chamber, we put the floor and hold the floor in place with the lid. So now we have an area which is moist and an area which is dry. Here are the wood lice. They've been collected from some leaf litter ready for the experiment. Now we're going to add them to the choice chamber and watch and see which part of the choice chamber they prefer to stay in. Now we'll give them a moment just to explore and have a look around. And then once we think they're all ready and they've all moved away from where they were put, just encourage them to move away. Break up this little bundle. In order to count how many wood lice are in each section, it's quite difficult to do just once. So what we do is every minute for five minutes, we make a note of how many are in each of the special areas. We would then add up the totals get a score for each area. I'm going to move these back so I can see. So if we were to take a reading now, we've got two wood lice moving in the dry area and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the damp area. We'd make a note of those and then come back a minute later and count again. And in that way we get a, a fairly good idea as to which conditions they prefer. Now it's not just dry 
and moist we can do, we can also let them choose between dark and light. And what we do then is we actually cover part of the choice chamber with this special cover. And then we do that again. We'll give them a chance to look around, explore the different areas, and then every minute for five minutes, once they've had a chance to get used to the conditions, we would count how many are in each of our areas. Now, because you can't see in the dark side, it helps if you know your total number of wood lice, because then you can work out how many are hiding by counting how many you can see and taking that away from the total. Using the choice chamber, we usually find that wood lice like damp and they like dark. Exactly the conditions that they find in leaf litter. Those are the conditions that they are perfectly adapted for.